This is the Logan Peak radio site, located on Mount Logan in Cache County. This wreck area here is for the Logan City Police mobile data systems. The racks on this side of the building are battery power, chargers, and control systems for the radio site. In case of power failure, the batteries will take over so they don't get a loss of power during any sort of power failure until the generator starts up. This area through here is the UCAN system, which stands for the Utah Communications Action Network that is used for police agencies, fire departments, other public safety, highway patrol for communications throughout the state. This system is linked from St. George to Logan through computer systems in Salt Lake. So dispatchers and mobile units in this area can talk car to car, dispatch to dispatch through the entire state of Utah. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight channels available up here. The next track is the United States Forest Service. Forest Service keeps track of their forest rangers and other users in this area of Cache National Forest. This is also microwaved back to the Salt Lake Interagency Fire Center and Forest Service Dispatch in Salt Lake. The Cache County Search and Rescue has their own repeater on this site for Jeep Patrol and searching operations. This is the 146.72.449.625 repeater in assembly mode. The large beige rack is where the previous repeater resided. We are now preparing it for the new repeater system, which is uh, 10 or 15 years newer than the systems that, uh, that they are replacing. Around the corner, we have the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is the little radio rack on the floor. On the wall is the University of Utah Seismological Data Acquisition System. There are seismological sensors around the north end of the state that feed back into here and then are microwaved to the University of Utah Seismological Department for monitoring of earthquake activity in this area. This rack is the United States Weather Service. Our weather channel information is transmitted by a microwave, then comes up here and is transmitted to the Logan area, then through another uh, UHF link system is beamed over to Bear Lake for another radio transmitter so that the uh, people in the Bear Lake area can receive weather forecasts. This repeater is for emergency medical services. The ambulances there, as they are coming through the north end of the state can call into the hospital directly here. It's mainly being supplanted now with the UCAN system and by cell phones for communications because of privacy acts. Next repeater is the state repeater system. This is used by the Department of Transportation, the Highway Patrol, Natural Resources, other agencies. It's a common repeater system for state vehicles to communicate also from Logan clear down to uh, St. George only a VHF system instead of the uh, 800 megahertz system that the uh, UCAN system is on. This is the old VHF radio system used for the uh, police. It is still active because it's used to communicate in Logan Canyon area where the uh, UCAN system does not have coverage. The uh, next racks are the microwave system that go to Lewis Peak, to Sedgwick Peak, to Hardware Ranch, and uh, down to Logan for their dispatch. The control systems are on the, uh, on the left along with the uh, BLM repeater, uh, Bureau of Land Management repeater, and then all the rest of the communications, including internet, which is available uh, at the site for interconnection of the radio systems is all available through here. The rectangular devices up at the top are not coaxial cable, they're actually called waveguide. That's a hollow rectangular tube that goes from the uh, fittings on the microwave transmitters and receivers up to the dishes that are on the tower outside the building. generator system for the Mount Logan repeater site. It, tra it tra starts up if the uh, power cable coming up the uh, mountain site fails for any reason. It is propane operated and uh, has enough propane outside to run it for approximately two weeks. This generator is relatively new. It was put in uh, about three years ago and has uh, I'm not sure what the capacity is. It's at least 10 kilowatts. We can run every uh, radio system on the site for that two-week period of time. And uh, that's it. Let's see if that's sad. That's it's, it's down here. It's down here. Oh, oh, it's, this is an 80 
kilowatt. kilowatt KVA uh, wow. power system. Mm, so 400, 400 amps, yeah. This would run your house for everything in your house and your neighbors. This is the Mount Logan Tower System. The round cylindrical things are the microwave dishes tied in through the, uh, mostly the uh, rectangular cabling into the radio room. The antennas pointed to the north are pointed towards Sedgwick Peak, which is above uh, Pocatello, Idaho, for communications interagency between the uh, state of Utah Public Safety and Idaho Public Safety. The two antennas to the right that are pointed down slightly are for the Forest Service and for the uh, public safety communications to our uh, central dispatch for Logan City. The antennas at the top where there are a couple of gentlemen working on them, I do not recognize either one of them fellows, are working on the uh, antennas for the uh, amateur, amateur radio right now. Ted on the left is, this is Ted and Bill's uh, excellent adventure. The one on the left is our UHF uh, 49625 antenna. The one on the right is our 2 meter 14672 repeater antenna. The antennas to the uh, behind Ted that are pointing sort of at us are uh, headed towards uh, hardware Ranch for telephone communications to uh, to the Hardware Ranch and also in internet connection for them. The two antennas to the left, which are actually pointing the south. The two antennas to the left are oh, pointing towards Lewis me. Peak, where our feeds for the uh, state of the Utah the microwave system are, the and the, the uh, other end. Oh, uh, oh, and Beaver Mountain. We've got uh, we've got an, oh the antenna in the middle at the bottom of this tower is the uh, Beaver Mountain link. And the uh, various small Yagi antennas, the gold-looking antennas pointed various directions, are for the seismological stations for the University of Utah. And 